Pokemon players always be doing two things, yapping and buying licensed merchandise. $80 billion on licensed merchandise. I would know they do these two things because I never shut up and I love to consume product. But today we're gonna see what other things that Pokemon players always do. We're gonna watch this video from Aura Guardian, things every Pokemon player has done. And we're going to play a little game. I'm gonna try and find one thing, just, just one thing in this video that I haven't done or that I don't do on a regular basis. We're gonna try and not be the stereotype today. We're gonna be different. We're gonna be a maverick and go our own way. We're not, we're not gonna be a maverick. That's not, we're not gonna do that, nope. But let's see if we are the everyone or if we are the special people. We're just healing up. We're gonna, hey, not everyone has played BDSP. There, yeah, that's something. Oh God, I didn't oh, need to keep pressing A. <laughs> okay, I've definitely done that. In fact, I do that. So, I did that so much as a child. I think I double healed as a child more than I just single healed. I did not know how to press a button just a few times. I had to mash it the whole time. Holding a button, thinking it would help keep a Pokemon in the ball. Oh yeah, absolutely. No, I, I definitely did this back in the school. I used to button mash the A button thinking that it helped, thinking that it did something. I didn't hold it down. Actually, I did sometimes. I would pivot between button mashing and holding down just to find out what one really worked. Uh, they, they both worked really well, obviously. And the harder that you hold down the button, the more the chance of it staying in the ball is. So I'd hold down the button so hard that I think I broke one of my Game Boys. <laughs> I mean, it works. See? Proof's in the gameplay right there. Told Picking you. a starter, but hating its evolution. Ah, picking a star but hating its evolution. Oh, you know what? I think I kind of did this when X and Y came out. I love Chespin. I thought Chespin was great. It evolved into Quilladin and I just could not gel with it. I just couldn't. I really wanted to, but I was like, oh man, I do not like this. Whoa. Kind of having this reaction to new Pokemon. Hating its evolution. Whoa. Kind of looks like a Digimon. Come on, yeah, yeah. You know, Digimons are actually more like just people. I seen the angel Digimon. It's just a guy. It's it's just a guy. And and the woman version is just a woman guy. Accidentally crutting a Pokemon you were trying to catch. Oh yeah, I played more than enough Nuzlocks to have done this one before. How many encounters have I failed doing Nuzlocke like this? I feel like it's got to be a solid amount. I feel like 15% of encounters have just been killed by accident. When you think you found an item, but it's something else. Oh, I mean, yeah, we, we've all done this. Standard vault top behavior. Stupid idiot. Wow. Stupid. A Pokemon based on a car? Damn, they're really running out of ideas. I hate when people say they're running out of ideas because if they were running out of ideas, they wouldn't do something unique and different. They would do something that they've already done before, like give Charizard a new form. But I mean, I don't even care about giving Charizard a new form because I think Charizard's pretty cool, to be honest. I get this comment all the time. Oh, you must be running out of ideas when I do something different. But when I do, then we fight number 7002. Oh, look, it's deal or no deal version five. It's, hey, Pat, great idea you had here. Really liking these new ideas. <laughs> Refusing to use flash because you're stubborn. Oh yeah, I was just too lazy. I was I was too lazy to catch the Pokemon. Running into any of these Pokemon. Okay, I mean yeah, everyone has. Sure, definitely, <laughs> absolutely. Oh, that's a long. Wow, that's a. That's Accidentally a long running into a low level NPC when you've already beaten the league. Uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like I've done this at least once in my life. I've ended the existence of some poor individual and just really given them the just really killed someone just did murder in broad daylight breaking the law doing crimes your cleaning your badges oh i used to love doing that in fourth gen there's a lot of bdsp in this one too oh yeah i know i, I love doing that because when you when you tap them and they're clean it has like more of a a clean sound to it it's very cute He's really, he's really scrubbing that. Clean those badges more than I clean my own house. Phone names to your rival. <laughs> I think I used to call my... Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, there it is. There it is. You can't even do that anymore. I can't believe... I can't believe the censorship this day and age. You can't even give your rivals names like this anymore. What is... What has gone wrong? That's what's really gone wrong in this franchise. Oh, my God. 
This game looks so good. I don't know. I feel like when the Scarlet and Violet trailer were released, the first one. Yeah, when the announcement for the original Scarlet and Violet came out, and I was just like, okay. Okay, it's like, it's, oh yeah, uh huh. I, oh, wow. Oh man, that, oh, that was a, that was a tough cut there. This bit is a, this one's a little hard to look at. I, I think this is something that I genuinely no because I've done this for older games. I've definitely looked at the older games and be like, whoa, Poggers 3D now. That's amazing. This game Sorry looks for like shit. Yeah. What I mean, the yeah. hell? This is one of the stupidest Pokemon I've ever seen. I like Left Gear a lot. I like the goofy ones. I will say I don't like all the goofy ones, but I do love Maractus. He's cute. This is one of the best Pokemon ever made. Exactly. Wow. Thank you. Ash sucks. Facts. Ash is a legend. True. Wow. Facts. This shiny is so cool. Poketuber went black shiny. What? <gasps> no way. <gasps> they put dark color on this? Wow. This shiny is so ugly. It's just such an unappealing color. I will say, though, I do like Mewtwo Shiny. I think Mewtwo Shiny is the one that stands out amongst this. And Huntail Shiny is the few that stands out amongst this as, like, good shinies. I mean, so you can squeeze Salamence in there, but the rest of them are just really not nice to look at. falling off a ledge at the worst time. Oh, yeah. I mean, who hasn't, right? Of course. Picking an exact number of Pokeballs to buy to take advantage of the Premier Balls. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. You know, you get more Premier Balls now. You get like, don't you get like four? Yeah, you get four Premier Balls. I think back in the day, when you used to get 10, even if you buy 50, you'd only get one. Because if you buy over 10, they give you a Premier Ball. So if you bought 50, they'd still give you one Premier Ball, which is a bit of a ripoff, to be honest. Catching a legendary. Right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely done that. <laughs> and putting it in your box forever. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Definitely done that. <laughs> Trying to use your bicycle where you can't. Have I ever done this? I always thought it was weird that you can just walk into people's houses. This this still doesn't compute with my mind. That you can just see a house and be like, all right, yeah, I'm just going to go in there. You're going to walk into someone's house. Imagine, imagine someone just opened that door and they've got the, the Pokemon town music blaring as they open the door. They just appear. It'd be kind of cool. I, I don't know. I'd be kind of cool, I guess. Please don't be firefighting type. 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 And none of them were. It was great. I love them all. Getting to heal right before an important battle. <laughs> no, I mean, I would. Yeah, no, I've done this. I do, I do this in Kaizo Ironmon all of the time. Shiny Star Raptor. Wait, you. Wait, this is the first battle of the Elite Four. How do you, how do you, for, okay, how do you forget to heal before going into the Elite Four? That's, that's your, that's a big L for you. Changing big problem. the tech speed to fast. Absolutely. Trying your best to But it's still so slow, and that's the issue. Why does it start on mid? I don't understand. I can't comprehend why it would start on medium. There are some people that have said that it helps to have the tech speed on slow because it makes it easier for them to read, say, if they have dyslexia or something like that, which I understand. But for 99.9% .9 of people, what's what's mid gonna do? What is that? Why is that option even there? Avoid an NPC. Nah, not me. I'm sneak level 100. Get in point. If I want to avoid someone, I'm gonna avoid them. I, I got I rolled high on sneak. Get empoisoned by Weedle's poison sting. I mean, who hasn't, right? Anyone that hasn't played Kanto hasn't had this. Which I don't know. Has anyone not played Kanto? Get leech lifed by Zubat. Oh no! One damage. One damage. Five damage. Wait, super effective. Wait, what? What? Calculate. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm, I'm. Hold on. I'm. I'm, I'm kind of losing my mind a little bit here. How is that? Anita Reno. Leech life. Super effective. Isn't leech life a bug type? How did that? What? Getting the master ball. And using it on and the legendary it in your bag and never using it. What? Oh, you got to save it for later, though. You got to save it. Honestly, I would always use the la the master ball on the box out legendary. I just didn't want to go through the rigmarole, you know. But when they made the catch race easier for the legendaries, I would just catch them in like a pokeball and then I'd save the master ball, and I'd never ever use it because what if a shiny pops up? What if there's a shot? If I see a shiny, I need to use the master ball, and I have to. Come on. Except maybe on me too. Getting the red Gyarados as your first ever shiny. 
I don't know if this was my first ever shiny. I, I mean, it probably was. The chances of you actually finding a shiny before you find the red Gyarados is minuscule. But I don't remember what my first shiny was, which is actually quite sad. Trying to move the truck to get Mew. Dude, I didn't even know how to get there. No, I straight up didn't know how to get there. What? What? It works? Oh, that's a, I think that's a mod hack. I think it's a ROM hack. A tofu? Uh oh. Oh no no. Oh no no. Oh, oh! Dude, what kind of sandwich are you making? What is this sandwich? We'll just give up. Trying to get everything in the underground and then the wall caving in. Oh, this was such a frustrating minigame. I would get so mad because you would just see like a fossil or something you really want, like a heart scale. You just see like the edge of a heart scale as everything comes down. You'd be like, damn it. Oh, I am ruining this historical artifacts, but I really want the hard scales so much. Shouldn't a professional be doing this? Shouldn't archaeologists be doing this? Why are we leaving the retrieval of dinosaur fossils to a 12 year old? Well, I guess we're leaving the savior of the world to a 12 year old as well. So why do 12 year olds do everything, man? Oh, hey, you asked for that one. Oh, you got the fossil? No, you're good, you're good. No, I, I, I'm not seeing anything that you're really missing out on here. Ah, that one's fine. Ah, that was good. T the wall collapsed. Should we putting up supports? What does OSHA think about this? What does the Workplace Safety Regulations Committee think about this? Looking up Sarabi or Bulbapedia to figure out how to evolve a Pokemon. No one has ever evolved your mask naturally. No, I don't care. No, I don't believe you. I don't I don't care if you're going to say, well, actually, I did. It was really crazy. I just, well, somehow it had happened. It was really weird. I don't believe you. I, I think that you're lying. I think that you're lying to me. I will never believe you. Having a collection of Pokemon cards. <gasps> I do. This is my rarest card, Kaiba. I, I, I feel like a Yu-Gi-Oh character holding this right now. Yugi, you have the first base set Charizard at PSA graded nine. I actually got this graded myself. I, I bought the cards in like a selection, in a massive selection of just like base set cards. Um, and this was just like so nice. And I sent it off to be graded. And I was like, oh, if it comes back like a six, that'd be insane. It comes back a freaking nine and I'm losing my mind. Oh, such a good moment. I'll never forget it in my life. That looks like this. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I mean, I'm really glad mine doesn't look like that. <laughs> I used to have that collection. Actually, I used to have that collection of cards that looked like that. And it was really meaningful to me. And it meant a lot. And my mom threw it out. She just threw everything out. Everything's gone. My mom loves to throw things away. She's like, ooh, sentimental value. Sorry, don't know the meaning of the word, actually. Making good progress in a Pokemon game. Oh, what? What happened? And forgetting to save. Oh no! Oh no, all the time! I reset my saves on stream all the time. They used to do this all the time as well. You ever had your battery run out at inopportune moments? I used to not know what a red light on a Game Boy Advance means. I, I remember asking my mom because the original Game Boy just had a red light and it was just a red light. And the Game Boy Advance, the green light would turn red when it was low on battery. And I didn't know what that meant. And I was like, oh, what does this mean? Because I was like, four, five years old at the time. And she was like, oh, I don't know. So I'd keep playing and then eventually it would just cut out and I, I would have no idea why. I'm like, what's going on here? Oh, wow. That's, you're back to the start. That's uh, that's a crazy one. Damn, that battery lasted and a while. The last thing that every Pokemon player has done is... Sing the song. I mean, I've sung the song. I've actually never watched that Smosh video, though. Oh my god, look at his members! Goodness me, look at that! Well, thank you so much, Origodian, for allowing me to react to your videos. I really appreciate it. Please go and subscribe to Origodian because he uploads Pokemon videos all the time. You can watch another one, like, for example, things Pokemon players never say, or 15 Pokemon facts you didn't know about. You can go watch them right now. You could do it. Or you could uh, subscribe to this channel if you want to. And I will not give you my Charizard, but it's really cool, though. It's really sick, isn't it?